at the intellectual level it is very easy it is very too easy to understand that there is a change taking place everywhere and everything is so impermanent anyone who takes birth dies anything that is manufactured later or sooner or later gets destroyed everything is impermanent but that is an intellectual understanding experience of it can be only within the framework of your body the law of nature is law of nature everywhere inside outside but the law of nature that you see outside can be acceptable can be understood at the intellectual level but the reality the law that you experience within the framework of the body can be experienced and this experience is called bhavana maya panya you are living there your direct experience otherwise it does not help at the intellectual level there were teachers before buddha at the time of buddha after buddha who kept on giving the same teaching but it didn't work to the depth as it worked for people who started developing their own bhavana maya panya like something very traumatic happens in the life a very near or dear one has passed away and you take his dead body to the funeral pyre and burn it or to the graveyard and put it in the grave while that is going on when develops so much of wisdom after all everything is so impermanent one who takes birth dies nobody is free from death i will also die one day people will bring my body put in this grave or burn on this funeral pyre then what is the use of all this craving craving clinging fighting with people accumulating this or that ultimately everything will be left here and my body will be burned big wisdom but how long as soon as one takes one step out of that graveyard again the same i i mine mine all madness is there makes no difference it was only intellectual understanding or people come to such dhamma talks such discourses ah wonderful now i understand why this attachment is so bad it gives so much of misery the more you are attached the more miserable you are bound to be misery misery this i is a big misery mine is a big misery big misery at the end of the discourse when you go out of the hall hey where are my shoes who has taken away my slippers i purchased only today new ones what happened start crying crying my 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 makes no difference it's all intellectual doesn't help one has to experience and it is so difficult to experience so easy to understand at the intellectual level so easy to accept it at the devotional level so difficult to experience because unless you have that faculty to experience you can't there is so much of illusion so much of delusion at the apparent level something appears to be so seems to be so actual level is totally different like night time you go to bed you lit a lamp or a candle you go to sleep next day morning you get up and you see the candle the light of the candle the light of the lamp and you are under the impression the same candle the same light where the same candle where the same light every moment a flame arises and passes away another takes its place and passes away another takes its place and passes away there is no interval continuously and that gives same impression the same flame the same light the same flame the same light a big illusion this electric bulb i pointed pointed towards it twice one remains under the impression the same light the same light we had the same light if it was the same light then why at the end of the month this electric company sends me a bill <laughs> you consume so many units so many dollars what for my light i purchased in the market my switch and you uh, on it i get my light who are you what for what for you want money <laughs> is quite correct is generating the electricity it comes through the wires gets consumed new takes its place with such great rapidity the old one passes away the new takes its place the old one passes away with such great rapidity 
it gives the impression the same, the same.